Hello YouTube, my name is Cartier, and today I'm going to be telling you about the first time I ever took LSD. This was about 5 years ago, I was about 16 years old, and I recently flew back to my hometown to visit some friends for spring break. That was my plan, just to hook up with a bunch of old friends and just see what was going on with them, maybe smoke a little bit, you know. And I got to my friend's house this was the day I got there. I got there on a plane, and um, he said he had a surprise for me, but it, I couldn't get it till later, so I was like, okay. I had no clue at all what it was going to be, um, so for until until later, we just sat around. He sparked me up on a couple of bulls. It was pretty cool, you know, and after it turned about 6, 7 p.m., the sun started going down. A truck pulls up to my friend's house, and I knew already that he was picking something up, but I didn't know what yet. Well, anyways, he goes outside. He's gone for about five minutes, and he comes back inside, and he shows me this tinfoil, and I've never seen acid at this point in my life. I've I wanted to do it, and I've heard about it. I did a little research on it, but not I don't know. I've never seeked it out. Well, anyways, he unfolds the tinfoil, and I see three little stormtroopers. There was a green, red, and yellow one, like stoplights. And we also have my friend, another friend with me. We're going to call them Carl and Alex. Carl was the one who got the tabs, and he's whose house I was at. Well, anyways, all of us decided to each put our tabs on our tongue. I was really nervous, though. It took them a little bit of convincing me. I'm not going to lie. I was pretty fucking scared. But I ended up popping this tab. And, um, we all just started, we decided we were going to walk to, walk, walk to, uh, McDonald's, my bad, where one of my friends works, and I was going to surprise him, and I knew he was working at the time, I was going to surprise him by showing up to his work, but also while I was coming up on this acid, I had no clue what to expect, okay, so we walked to my friend's McDonald's, yeah, we walked everywhere when we were that age, we were trapping everywhere, my boy, like, we, it took us about 30 minutes to walk to this McDonald's. And right when we got there, it started hitting me really hard. I walked inside and seen my friend. And I, tell, I told him what's up and stuff. And um, I remember it hit me. And I was just like, holy shit. I need to get outside. So I went outside and I sat on the curb. And I remember looking down at the concrete. And it just looked like play-doh like this mushy consistency i had no clue like i didn't even know what to do it was a little bit overwhelming but it was just crazy and i remember i told my friends alex and carl the ones i walked there with and took the tabs with i told my friend i was like bro i we got to get back to your house this is insane and he's like okay you're right and he calls his dad to pick us up this was a huge mistake we all get once his dad gets there we all get in the back of his truck and the whole ride home it wasn't a far drive it was about probably a good five ten minute drive back to his house but the whole ride home i could not stop laughing like i was just dying and like when i seen his dad's face and his dad knew something was going on like <laughs> He knew we all had like bowling eye, bowling ball pupils. That shit was crazy, dude. And he knew something was up. It was insane. And when we eventually got back to his house and like scurried back into my friend's room really fast to avoid his dad. And I remember just being stuck. Like I was stuck. Like I was speaking so hard. I couldn't move damn near, okay? Like this was crazy. Like, and I was just stuck, and I couldn't stop laughing for hours until the peak was over. Like, I was laughing so much. It was insane. And I remember every time we planned to go do something, like go, like, smoke outside, we would forget what we were going to do. We, would, we were stuck. Like, we kept forgetting everything that we wanted to do. And, oh, that was just so crazy. I remember just laughing my friends kept calling me hammy from over the hedge and it would make me laugh even more i don't know why they would, <laughs> that shit was just so funny oh my god that was amazing but finally after the peak was over we were able to function kind of 
And my friend's sister, this was crazy. My friend's sister shows up, and it's like kind of late at this point. She shows up back to his house, and she is drunk as fuck and with some random guy. And we are all outside, like, talking to them, and it's just, we don't even know what the fuck to do. My friend's like, why do you, are you with this random-ass guy? And it was just so weird. I was just stuck. I didn't know what to say to anybody. And then my friend's dad came outside, and I was like, oh my god, what is going on? What the fuck do I do right now? I was shook, man. I was fucking shaking in my fucking shoes. <laughs> oh my god, it was nuts. I remember we went back inside and chilled in his room while we tripping. While playing shit on his Xbox, watching music videos, you know, normal tripping stuff. And as it got later in the night, shit kind of died down. Everyone in the house was sleeping but us. And we decided to go out and smoke. And for some idea, we got the I- we we got this crazy idea that we were going to get on the roof to smoke. So we did. Don't do this, guys, while you're tripping. It's dangerous. But we decided to do it. And we did it safely. We walked up there. We smoked a couple joints. Made us trip a little bit harder. It was fun. Great looking at the moon. We were just jokes laughter love it was a great time and i that first trip no trip has ever been like that again man that shit i have no words for it i no trip ever has been close to that one yeah that was insane um i remember the next morning like I didn't even know what to think. My mind was just absolutely blown. Like, just all the visuals and everything I was seeing and how the the music feels so fucking cool. Like, you felt the music and vibrations and shit. I was just at a loss for words. Well, anyways, that was my story, guys, about the first time I ever took LSD. I hope you enjoyed it. This was my first YouTube video ever. Uh, Like, comment, and subscribe if you want more videos like this, because I have plenty stories to tell. All right, you guys be safe out there, and have a good day. Bye.